Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I hope everybody is having a splendid day, as usual. Um, I was looking at Bear's Cage, just kind of seeing what I want to change up about it. And I was thinking, I was like looking at everything I have, I was like, man, I like these products a lot more than others. I was like, oh, that's actually a good video to film that people might actually find helpful, is what products are better than other ones so for like in for instance sand like you wouldn't buy chinchilla dust you'd buy actual sand but then there's like thousands of different sands that some are for reptiles some are for hamsters some are for chinchillas so i was like maybe this will be useful to other people i'm not entirely sure um yeah before we get started like the video drop a comment it could literally be anything i don't care I just love reading your comments. It's It makes my day a lot, especially when people are so kind down there. So definitely leave a comment. Um, click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Yeah, let's get on to the video. Okay, we are kind of filming on the floor because we're basically right behind Bear's cage. So I'm able to see what I'm kind of filming. Um, I will... I. If I'm able to put the links for the stuff in the description, they'll be down there. If I cannot figure it out, which chances are I will not be able to figure it out, then um, they won't be in there. But most of the stuff is found on Amazon or Petco. So yeah, most of the stuff will be on Amazon and a little bit will be at Petco or PetSmart, the pet stores. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is on this side of the cage, his left side. and is the chamber hideout. So I'll tell you a little bit about everything if it needs it. So a chamber hideout is super important because it basically is in the nature or <laughs> in nature hamsters will dig down a lot and they will make different chambers for where they sleep, where they use the bathroom, where they hide their food, all these different chambers. So the chamber hideout basically replicates what they do in nature, it's got a bunch of different chambers. I'll put a pictures in for try, I'll try to put pictures in for all of them. Um, and as you can tell, it's just different chambers. So Bear will store his food in one chamber. He'll actually use the bathroom in another one and he'll sleep in a different one. So it might be a little large, but you can put stuff on top of it and you can actually put chew toys inside of it if you'd like. So you can still use the space up. It's not like it's just one big box. Um, now for a critter trail cage, you'll basically take up the whole floor. For a proper size cage, you will still have a whole big chunk to use room. Um, on top of it, of course you can, uh, for mine, I have my food and water dishes. For food and water dishes, if you want more natural ones, I would definitely go to Amazon and go to Night Angel. Um, I totally forget the brand, but, um, the water dishes, um, the ones Night Angel makes are really cool because it's basically impossible for a hamster to drown in the water dish because it kind of has like a middle part that is higher and the rim you like fill up with water. So I really want to get one of those. Um, they are glass, so they're a little bit more expensive. They're $10. Um, so kind of gotta save up for his bigger cage and everything else um so i'm not gonna use my money on that quite yet but um if you do want one they come in like a bunch of different colors stuff like that and for a food dish i found a really cute brown one that i really want um yeah so that's food and water dishes now for sand so i'm actually been using two different kinds of sand um the one I've been using before is called like Tiny Friends Farm. I'll put a picture in here. Um, while it's not huge, it will last you a good amount of time because you don't need to like dump out all the sand every time you clean the cage. Um, so Tiny Friends Farm is really good. It's also not that expensive, but you also don't get that much sand. And then of course, the other brand is the um, Repti Sand, which is what everybody uses. I just got a bag of that because it was like, um, it was at Choice Pet for only like $10. Um, it's 10 pounds, I think. No, that does not. 
Oh, it might be. I, I don't know. Um, so that Repti sand and the Tiny Friends Farm sand is both safe. Um, while it's sand and not um, dust, it works great. The next thing is bedding. So for bedding, you can use um, just regular paper-based bedding. I think the best for paper-based bedding is Carefresh or what's the other one? Carefresh or KT. Carefresh or KT. Sorry, I've been like looking other. Um, they're both great ba brands of bedding. Um, again, stay away from the scented bedding because those are not good. Um, for bedding, you need to have six to ten inches. This goes with the chamber hideout too. Hamsters dig far down, like really far down. And I'm gonna like, oh, I can't do that. Um, they dig really far down in um, like for their chamber. So having an inch or two of bedding is not gonna cut it. So if you have the chamber hideout, I cannot talk. If you have the chamber hideout, then you can fill all the way up. But um, I think the two best brands are Carefresh and KT. The next thing um, is kind of the wheels. I say if you have a dwarf or a robo hamster, Night Angel wheels are amazing. They're sound, like nothing comes out of them except for like your nails on your hamster when they're running. They're like completely soundproof. They are big enough. I don't recommend them for Syrians or Chinese just because I haven't been able to find a proper size wheel. They might make them. I, I just can't find one. I, I don't know why. Um, so if you have a Syrian, um, again, a 12 or 11 to 12 inch wheel and a rodent wheel is probably the best for them. I think that's what everybody uses. Again, it's soundproof. You can't hear it doesn't like squeak or anything. Um, it's also kind of, it's only black and green. I think, I think there's other colors. Mine is black and green though. Um, now it's not as like aesthetic and pleasing as the Night Angel wheels. I love Night Angel for anything. Like they're good at cages. They're good at chamber hideouts, water and food dishes, wheels, everything, sand baths. Um, their wheels are really cool because the back of it, you can choose a color and then it's basically glass or wood. So those are the wheels. I recommend Woden wheels or Night Angel wheels. Um, the last thing is going to be hamster food. The best hamster food, which is arguable, a lot of people disagree or agree with this, but it is going to be sunburst food with a mix of rat and Missouri rice, blo mice blocks. I always say rice. Um, it's, it's just the best. I mean, <laughs> I don't. People can argue, it's fine, we all have our preferences, but um, once I'm done with this bag of food, I'm definitely switching over to that. Right now I have the KT brand, which I don't like that much, but I don't have that much left in it, so I'm just gonna finish it off um, and then get sunburst food when I'm all done. Um, it's just gotta be the best. So just get a bag of sunburst food and a bag of rice, mut mice, Rat and Missouri, <laughs> I literally can't say it. Just get two bags of those and you'll be set. It's it's just really good hamster food. So if you have any questions on like treats or chew toys or sprays or anything, I think the best sprays are on Etsy actually. Like there's so many shops of good um, hamster sprays you can get. I just get like a plain bag at um, Petco. And it's just these though. There's not like any fancy ones, which they're fine. They're cheap. They're only like $2 and they're, they're for birds, but I mean, they work. Sometimes you have to go in different aisles of pet stores to see what you can find. Like if there's a guinea pig section, a bird section, sometimes a chinchilla section, you gotta explore a little bit. Um, for coconut soil, I do recommend going to Petco. It's called like Earth something, I can't remember. But, um. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you have any questions on treats or anything like that, um, let me know in the comments down below. I will see you guys in another video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.